If you are a novice investor, you need to know the things you should not do under any circumstances. Watch this video to the end to preserve your capital, and don't forget to like it in advance. Thank you. 1. Investing your last or borrowed money. It's a good idea to be prepared for the possibility of losing a lot of money. That's why it's a good idea to spend your money on new appliances as originally planned. Otherwise, you may end up without a fridge or washing machine. The risks associated with fluctuations in the value of securities make loan or borrowed money invested in investments. A kind of Russian roulette. It is better not to tempt fate. No credit, debt or borrowed money. It's a straight road to debt. On the first step to the top of a successful investor's career, it's better to determine the amount of money, the loss of which will not affect the quality of life. It is a good idea to save up before you start experimenting with investments. You can then invest 10 to 30 of your total accumulated cash reserve in investment instruments to gain experience. The rest will become a savings asset, for example, nestled in a deposit in the firm of a bank deposit. 2. Investing for a short period of time. There are two types of transactions in the stock market, longs and shorts. The first type involves buying securities and making a profit in the long term, driven by market growth. A shirt is a short-term trade or speculation, which allows you to make money on a market decline. The mechanics are as follows. In a long position, a trader buys a stock, waits for its price to rise and then sells the asset at a higher price. An investor in shorts trades not his own shares, but borrowed ones from a broker. After selling them at the current market price, he buys back the same shares, but at a lower price, taking the difference for himself. Taking a shirt position requires the investor to be highly reactive, stress-resistant, experienced, and knowledgeable. He must be able to analyze the company, study the price movements over time, and be able to predict or calculate the profitability of his investment. The long side usually only requires practice to zen and patience. Shorting as a beginner is very risky, and counting on luck is yet another mistake for the novice. That said, most stocks tend to go up in the long run. And of course, despite their attractiveness because of a few high-profile successes like Tesla, the newcomer should not think about startups at all. 99% of young, growing and promising companies go bankrupt before they reach their target. 3. Forget about diversification and invest in one company. Here it's simple, the company's stock price goes down, the investor loses everything. To prevent this from happening, there is such a tool as diversification. This is called distribution of money between bonds and stocks, and between different companies and even different industries. Diversification protects the portfolio from market fluctuations. Not everything can appreciate all at once. Some companies or whole industries will definitely earn during the crisis and bring profit to investors. You can get ideas for forming a portfolio by watching other videos on this channel, so subscribe to it to avoid losing your entire deposit. Typically, funds are split into three areas. Bonds the safest asset, funds covering whole sectors of the economy, and stocks the source of major income under the right circumstances. The latter are also better diversified by sectority, pharmaceuticals, oil, industry, transport. Thank you for watching. If you don't have a deposit, I have left a proven broker in the description. Invest wisely and multiply your income. See you soon.